So we've got two boxes. So this one showed up actually sometime last week. And of course Mario Party 10 arrived. So this one very beat up. Uh, what happened here was uh, I found out that there was some Burn On Demand DVDs that were released a couple of years ago that maybe technically counts as anime. So good, I've got copies of it now. And this week's new releases. So this is McMaster. Volume one, two, three. Um, not even sure who released it, but I do believe. Um, I can't remember their name. Um, Well-known Japanese animation company. I, I think it was a collaborative effort, and that's why it probably fell through the radar. I don't know who the intended audience was, but whatever. It's Mixmaster. This is Season 1, Volume 3, so I guess I'm doing these a little in reverse, because this is Season 1, Volume 2, and this plastic does not want to, um, puncture. This looks the same. And then season one, volume one. Again, according to the data I saw, it looked like these were released back in 2013. Oh well. Uh, next up, we got Place to Place Blu ray version. As you can see, it's Region A, it's subtitled only, so just the Blu-ray version of the DVD release that happened before. Nothing complicated. I never did finish watching this, did I? Well, I have the Blu-ray now. As a reminder to do that. Next up, we got Pokemon Black and White Adventures in Unova and Beyond. This is the one I mentioned that uh, I was confused because there is no Adventures in no in Unova and Beyond set one, so it's a little confusing there. But apparently not bad. Let's see, I guess I'm not seeing any information, episodes 26 to 45. One, two, three, just the three. And then we have uh, Student Council Discretion. Seto Kai no Ichizon. Which I don't know much about. Uh, I could see that this is a Japanese thing with subtitles only. I guess it was the Blu ray version I could have zoomed up on because we would have seen that and whether or not it was um, Region A only, which it is. Includes all 12 episodes. They are the voted in crowd. Hmm. I'm using a little well, in any case <coughs> this is a two disc thing which means that the blu-ray version is either one disc or it feels like one disc looks like it's the same artwork as disc one and version. Well, there we are. That's this week's anime DVD collection update. So I finished the second season of The Familiar of Zero. Um, 
I guess I... Uh, right now I'm having trouble remembering what even happened. It was okay, I guess. It was... Strange. I think, uh... It's a bit like the first season in that... There's... Uh, some mysterious elements added to kind of interest you in the next season. And like you'd expect of a series that's, um, I guess the hair man way of this kind, although it is being a bit weird in that regard. To the point where I'm having trouble t deciding if I would call it technically in a, a harem at this second season. But, um... It definitely didn't end in such a way where it's like, oh, yeah, there we go, I'm satisfied with the place their relationship is at and all the mysteries of the world are solved in both So, Looking forward to season three, give or take the fact that the series pisses me off every time I watch it, but I forget quickly and easily, apparently. So I also watched Unbreakable Machine Doll. Um, it's an interesting series, but it's definitely... Flawed. First of all, there's the problem that it's incomplete as it is. But even beyond that, you can kind of watch it, and the thing that makes you kind of want to watch it is also the thing that makes you not want to watch it. I, you can't help but feel like there's this potential to be exciting or awesome underneath the covers, but at the same time, the main character does not seem to always live up to that expectation, I guess. It's like, he keeps saying that his machine doll is the best machine doll, and uh, well, it's, it's the world's best, but uh, sometimes it's like, eh, well, it's, it feels like he's mostly just boasting sometimes, even though we know that the series doesn't really intend it to be that way. Um, but beyond that, it's a pretty fun... I, I was going to say standard hair anime, but it does feel like it's on the edge of being something different and interesting. But it's hard to put my finger on exactly what comes on when I say that without just thinking about the details of the anime itself. And that's all okay. I did also watch the six-episode OVA that came with it, and... It's not spectacular, but, you know, it's, it, as is pretty common, it is a bit of an excuse to have um, more fan service -y stuff. But I did think it was really interesting in so far as this is the first time I've seen one where it had a little story arc to it. And it wasn't immediately obvious at first that it was doing something like that, but then it's like, okay, I'm starting to see a common theme here. And it came together in a cute little way. No, nothing spectacular, but kind of an, uh, an interesting and notable difference about the series. So, that's not a whole lot of anime, and I guess this was just a complicated week. A combination of many things. Um, most of them being that I just kind of felt like not doing much. Like, I think I took uh, some naps. And I'm not sure if naps is the right word, since it's more like going to bed really, really, really early and just catching up on sleep in the middle of the week. On the weekend, um, I decided to do a coding project, which it's kind of hard to play Monster Hunter while you're doing a coding project. And with Monster Hunter, I'm making slow progress and wanting to make more progress. And that, of course, gets in the way of watching anime. So I don't know. It's really complicated. As in, like, there isn't one thing on my to-do list or two things on my to-do list and whatever. Um, regarding other stuff I watched, um, I watched the first two episodes of the second half of season two of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And actually, it's really good. I, the first half... I, I wouldn't call it bad. It had really neat elements to it, and it was good here and there, but it was also kind of always on the edge, and I'm not sure if I'm noticing maybe this second half is the same, but at the same time, the series took an interesting turn. 
So I'm looking forward to watching more of that. But outside of that, um, I guess that's pretty much everything. It's a, hopefully a quick update. So, um, yeah, y'all have a nice week.